to be y. Great. Our children are locked on to us a team considered around to a transfer form in this case because they didn't know how to engage about being called back. Rather than having a genuinely productive and academic discussion, the other team chose to concede the round. We're done with this. Unplugging in the undata is the only way to reach the data. Sort of like in the Matrix when Neo is having his asshole harvested for rainbow robot energy, he needs to choose a between a pill and Xanax, or probably Xanax, and place it in different colors. He needs to take this pill in the Matrix. We choose the Xanax plus different colors. Data is undata, and truth is untruth. Only accepting data can we accept and reject truth. Zara 18. Everything one looks at is false. The system of quickly looking at the other side of things in order to impose your opinion and directly about dialectics. If I call ideal, 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 knowledge, 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 boom, 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 boom. I have given a pretty faithful version of progress, law, morality, and all other fine qualities that various highly intelligent men have discussed in so many books, only to conclude that after all, everyone dances to his own personal boom, boom, and the writer is entitled to boom, boom. If all of them are right, let us try for once not to be right. The dialogue Dialectic is an amusing mechanism which guides us in a banal kind of way to the opinions we had in the first place. We observe, we regard from one or more points of view, we choose them among the millions that exist. Experience is also a product of chance. Science says we are servants of nature, everything is in order, make love and bash your brains in. Carry on, my children, humanity, kind robots, eh? and journalist virgins. I am against systems, the most acceptable system is on principle to have none, to complete oneself, to perfect oneself in one's own littleness, to fill in the vessel. Our alternative is to, ah, this is because embracing subjectivity creates a space where individual analysis can occur. Because rejecting the status quo exposes the existence of a learning space outside typical objective norms, we encourage subjective thought. Igniting subjective thinking destroys the binds of group things. Zara 18. Destroy the drawers of the brain, spread demoralization wherever I go, and cast my hand from heaven to hell. Restore the effect and will of a universal service to objective forces and the imagination of every individual. The role of ballot and responsibility to judge is to undoubt the data. This means that prioritizing data in your ballot allows the message of data to be spread. Even if their arguments are important, the nature of the debate space is that even if they can see one, ten second complete response to it, their argument is deemed false. This pseudo objective nature of the debate space dresses arguments in logic rather than truth and prevents debate from reaching into the world of subjective and tangible experiences. Subjective experiences currently don't have a place in debate because teams cannot address them in a pseudo objective way. You can't indict or read a statistic to a performance. This leaves teams with the option of invalidating personal experiences using pseudo-objective means or suffering the consequences of a lost ballot. Ultimately, we reject this method of debate. We advocate for a debate space that rejects the act versus name, win-loss format, and embraces uncertainty and self-discovery through subjective thinking. That is the only way to produce real-world impact and change. Talking about people affected by drug policy in the debate space will never manifest itself to the real world. However, by changing the way we think and react to subjective experiences, we can encourage better policy. This securitized logic of the one I see was the endless warfare. Just kidding about that. Ah! I transcribed the personal journal of watch, 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 watching it's sort of like Nick Cage in that Constitution movie that everyone remembers, but nobody remembers. That is the only savings bank that keeps interest for eternity. Data doubles your income. Data is something that every citizen must have at his will. All transfers into data savings make are valid anywhere in the world. Guatama thought he was going to Nirvana, but when he died, he found himself in data. The dear Lord spoke. Let there be light. Let there, there is not light, but data. We are both apt and nay. We choose to affirm and negate the resolution. We are the only side of your ballot, as the app makes your speech time relevant. Looks like your only choice in this round is voting next for me. Okay, uh, we all, I don't know if you have the cards, my bad. Uh, we can uh, just see it as speech like, talk in the octaves. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> the screens are really loud. Yeah. I'll send it. Who wrote this? Image to me, please. Um, the image, what, is whatever you make of it, honestly. Oh, okay. like, it is 
Whatever you make of it. What if it's telling you what you see? I can see what I see. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Okay, that's fine. All right, cease cry. That was a good 13 seconds. Um, I still can't get the hot spot. Maybe Anybody else have a hot spot from borrow? Because I'm going to Okay. No more tools. So I guess the order is going to be, yeah, uh, hold on, I'm going to take a little bit of prep before we can start this. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. It takes a lot of prep to undo So the order is going to be uh, really briefly talking about the image, then it's going to be A2 framing in general, and then it's going to be a little bit of substance. Yeah. Sorry, can you repeat that one more time? The image yeah. and then what? Uh, it's going to be talking about the image, some general A2 framing, and then, so and then it's going to be some case. Can I sound like the A2 framing on like... Yeah, you can it on your side. Okay. Actually, we'll take, we'll start, we'll just start more prep. Sure. Starting, this is really important, I promise you. Yeah. It's to help understand. I understand. All right, okay. starting prep time or meditation now. Starting on their image, they say the image is whatever we, whatever we make it to be. Here's what we make it up to be. We see the image as saying, vote Wesley, take the fun, vote not for the Afro negative, instead vote for us as Wesley, as two individuals with subjective experiences, and voting for people with subjective experiences, you are embracing subjectivity, taking the plunge, and you are embracing the data. Vote also not for the Afro negative, but instead for the neg affirmative, they are the neg, they are the Afro negative, we are the neg affirmative. Okay. Then, three general responses to framing overall. First, ground. Both debaters are guaranteed access to ground to engage under utilitarianism, which is what we provide as a counter framework to evaluate this round. Anything can function as a utility impact as long as external benefit is articulated. So all of your options apply. Other frameworks deny one side the ability to engage in, uh, with the other and both the impact level and the length of the longer utility both sides that access to the sense of ground. This is the most fair and educational. Secondly, weighability. Only consequentialism explains degrees of wrongness. If they say we help some uh, more people than pre their framework is justified in utilitarianism. We know that $5 is money for an oppressed person that's obviously better than $2 of money for an oppressed person, which proves that their framing is simply versus utilitarianism, but reverse. Thirdly, inclusion magnifies exclusion. By focusing exclusively on certain forms of oppression and marginalization, we only uh, further exclude and marginalize other groups that cannot even begin to evaluate you by the framework being limited. For example, if we look solely to alleviate oppression of a certain group, we ignore and must magnify the marginalization of other groups. Uh, by definition, only utils also that accounts for all oppression voted for utils are under their framework then. Uh, two contentions. First is a bursting, uh, you should engage first because of bursting bubbles. The legalization of drugs will lead cannabis industry to go to race to a case to tax control. Co compliance. The boom state can see this prices and participants begin to rise. Investors create justifications for increasingly higher market prices so the uh, participants see a profit taking opportunity and money begins to leave the market. The panic systems and prices fall dramatically and investors set up to protect against financial ruin. The most important factor preventing the cannabis industry from economic bubble status is a conflict of laws. Although the cannabis industry is not lacking financial resources due to private venture capital money, creating an economic burst similar to the non or housing market will require a much larger influx of financial resources and participants. Without legalization at a federal level, that influx is unlikely. Problematically, another economic crash would be devastating as Blanchard finds that over 900 million people are expected to remain vulnerable to being pushed back into poverty in the face of adverse economic shocks. Contended to with international law, multilateral drug treaties are still intact with gradual pollination rights. The future of human drug control treaties is now uncertain because of the decision by Europe, by eight states in the U.S. and Canada to legalize cannabis. That said, the regime maintains remarkable defiance. Both implementing regulated uh, drug markets at a national level is likely to set a precedent for any other states considering legalization of the drug for recreational purposes. The United States plays a key role in upholding international drug treaties. March 14 of Brookings writes, 
the U.S. role in drugs, the United States taking a unique role in the world. It is harder to call out flexibility within drug treaty structures or within other multilateral agreements when we claim flexibility for ourselves. Indeed, legalization would decimate U.N. treaties and U.S. world standing. As Lopez writes, legalization violates treaties and decimates world standing. Okay. Any move towards legalization is in violation of international treaties. If the U.S. ended prohibition, ignoring drug conventions could seriously damage American standing around the world. Agreements must be kept. Countries cannot simply comply with some provisions to ignore others without losing moral authority. Drug conventions are key signals of strength of international law. Give me a chance to inquire a right. The UN drug conventions are among the most, world's most widely adhered to legal instruments. The US has a strong interest in preserving respect for international law. American-led international law has preserved decades of peace by ensuring cooperation among countries. Benedict 19 of Defense News ultimately finds treaties are mo uh, and modes of behavior created by the United States has kept peace for seven, seven decades. Collapsing this edifice would undercut the multiple structures that have brought seven decades of peace and prosperity. On the contrary, the end of international law would mean war and violence. Earth 14 of Harvard ultimately writes that if several hubs develop, the resulting international legal system would be one of fixed, fragmented regions. Norms would divide and fragmented outcomes would be determined by great power rivalry. Overall, Robinson 18 of Current Affairs quantifies that to treat international laws meaningless slowly raised the weak bonds to keep the world from collapsing into war, the last world wars with 75 million people less than a day. Okay. Are you ready for a crossfire? Uh, you said open cross was fun, right? Is open cross fun good? Yeah. Oh, that was great. Okay. Do you mind if I have the first question? Yeah. How many data does it take to change a light bulb to get to the other side? How many data does it take to change a light bulb to get to the other side? Correct. Uh, uh, I feel like that's up for interpretation. I feel like that's, yeah, that's subjective. No, I'm just asking how many It data depends on the light bulb. It depends okay, on the light bulb. Yeah, how big is the light bulb? How much energy is in a data? Well, I guess that's up to you. Okay, so I I'd say four four three. Three? I think four. Okay. Sure. Right. If that's what you want to say. Good. All right. Uh, you have a question? Why can't we do the alt at the same time as, for example, voting for West Wing? Like, for example, if the judge, like, okay, for example, if the judge decides to press negative or neg for the graph, whichever side you're on, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot. Can't they just run at the exact same time? Uh huh. And so, 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 let me answer your question by asking a quick follow-up, right? Oh, sorry. Well, so okay. let's pretend that you win your entire framework argument, every single framework argument, sure. and you win your entire case. What um, do you want the judges to do? I would just do uh, vote for the only team with the case because it's the only way you can value utilitarianism. You're right. Which that is great. amazing. You can have a question. Okay. okay. I think that answers your question. Well, we just had a you. We love to do that. Oh yeah, we did just actually have a question. Okay. How do you undata the data? Uh, how, how do you specifically undata the data? Voting for Westlake. <laughs> okay. You can have a question. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you scoffing? I feel like that's a great answer. How is it a great answer? How does voting for How does voting for you undata the data? Because we are two subjective human beings. The second that you vote for us, you're voting for that. Or you're un you're unvoting for that. You're you're. Can you tell me what data is? And well, undating. I feel like data that's is. your burden to prove. Because at this point, yeah, we do prove it in our entire data argument. Okay, I, I think data is honestly more represented in the image than anything you've said so far. Um, the image was a last minute addition. I thought was funny that you turned it into a, a walking link into the computer. I think well, I think we link it pretty well. You said. The image is a reason to vote for Wesley. Exactly. That you is a walking link into, into you, data. You said we could interpret it however we wanted. Yes, and you interpreted it in the worst way possible. Wait, are you saying that? Okay, 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 okay. so, so you were saying our interpretation is bad. So you were determined that our I'm not saying your interpretation is bad. Yeah, I'm saying your interpretation is the exact reason why we need to undata the data. No, the, your, this, your interpretation wait, is saying it should vote if, for you. If I have any chance of trying to undata data. My subjective like interpretation has any chance of being so-called the worst, and it obviously isn't very subjective because you have your own opinion of what is good and bad. That means that data that itself is probably no, determined by what you think is good and bad, so you are the data. data. No, you have to data and undata to in order to undata the data in the first place. Yeah. That is the argument. Well, okay, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Obviously, you have to bridge things to undata the data. I think you're probably the most data out of anybody here, so you should concede to undata the data. How does me that, concede? That's not how undata the data That is exactly that is how it works. That's not how undata the data works. That is exactly how it works. How, how, why, why, does it, why does it mean that the well, data is well, undata? What does it make you feel when you read data doubles your income and data is something that every citizen must have in right. the Once again, that's subjective. But the point is, is that you believe that my subjective No, no I don't want to talk about my beliefs. beliefs. What, are, what are your beliefs about that sentence? What was the sentence? Was, what was the sentence? Data is something every citizen must have in this world. See, wait, that, wait, that's a new sentence. No, that's, a, said, no, that was a, that's a different sentence. You're asking me to evaluate two different sentences. I can only do one at a time. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> right. right. um, we are going to take a little bit of a as the undoubting game.
All right, it's gonna be expanding the critique real quick with some stuff, and then uh, down, uh, and then just like this is just more data. Is there another image, or is it just no more images? No data. More? Wow. Okay. Fine. Okay. 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 All right, real quick, let me just screw up the data. Time starts now. There are three of you links to the data. First off, when we asked them to interpret the image, they said they interpret it as you voting for Westlake. But the whole thesis of the data is K is that you should reject the win-loss format of debate because it encourages us to answer objectively and it encourages this pseudo-objective way of debate that only prevents individual thinking. They have created another link to the critique. They also do that when in their speech they say that $5 is better than $2. What if this $5 is used for more drugs that people can overdose on? It is not objective that $5 is better than $2. It is subjective, which is why you should vote for us again. Or no, no, wait, wait. Which is why you should data the undata the data. But then, wait a second, hold on. Real quick. Just a, real quick. Then, the third link. The third link is that... In Cross, they said that if you buy their util argument, then you should vote for them. But again, you should not vote for the team, even if they prove their arguments to be true or if they have a case as they say, because again, you need to undoubted the data and you cannot look at this pseudo-objective way of debate. But then, let's go into clearing some things up at the top. The critique questions the objective notion, the objectivist notion is behind their case. They presented an area of study that disavowed other modes of thinking. Instead of presenting the possibility of multiple viewpoints, it presented one supposed truth for the listeners to take in. However, that objectivist logic destroys our ability to think critically about the subject and form opinions for ourselves. That's Zara. This collapses education. Individual analysis is the only effective mode of self-pedagogy. It leads to an unfettered mode of knowledge protection that eventually leads us to the correct representation of the world. Independently, it leads to a form that education is not recycled and handed down. Our alternative is to abandon violent objectivism and embrace subjectivism. This is represented by the atypical presentation of our case and the alternative text, which serves to demonstrate purely internal analysis of an issue, abandoning cares for our, how today's society perceives our argumentation. The impact of not achieving self-realization means we fall victim to the militarized call of homogenous think. That's often from case and cannot cause real-world academic growth and discovery. Dada fundamentally challenges how we learn. Rather than our current symphonic view of learning in which a conductor leads a group, imparting their viewpoints upon the audience, Dada rejects the call to align with another's understanding of a, of a subject. Dada calls for a soloist form of music in which the musician plays a lot, a, a, alone, dealing internally with the information around them. A whole world of information is open to those willing to constantly learn and challenge their own preconceived notions. The natural course of the universe will always lead us to the correct decision and correct truths, at least for us. None of their arguments have warrants. They are statements made with complete certainty using buzzwords. They are above only constructed, elevated, and to a new linguistic performance. First, judges in debate are academics, not political scientists. Planned desirability is an offense or even a relevant concern, and the fiat is completely illusory. You should prioritize epistemological interrogation. Thus, the role of the judge is to, is to, is to, uh, wait, what's that? Undoubted the data. Undoubted the data, my bad. <laughs> Zephyr 915. Choosing one policy means having expectations about the effects. You can shape the future only if you make accurate predictions. Scholars have systematically failed to predict ma major events. Studies show that experts are not much better at predicting than common people. More knowledge means a lower capacity of being a reliable forecaster. Failure to predict does have detrimental implications for a science that aspires to change politics. No more data, no more data. Can I see a couple pieces of evidence? Um, first of all, can I see the last thing you said? Yeah. About the role, the role of the, whatever says role of the judge is to undata the data. Uh, uh, the part that says role of the judge is something we typed on our computer. Oh, okay. Can I see that? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the role of the judge is to undata the data. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like just that. Sentence. It's yeah. just that sentence. Uh -huh. Just that. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Let me know when that's in the doc. Yeah, it's, it's in the doc. Okay. Uh, uh, it's just I'm gonna close that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, wait, where is the, um... What, the other evidence? Uh, wait, where is, where is it? At the very bottom of the, of the document. Um, I don't see, at the very there bottom... There is Lamborghini, and there's, I typed in, just for you, the role of the judge is to undoubt the data. Wait, that's all capitalized, it's not in, like, correct... What? Capitalization on, I guess. No, it's... <coughs> fine, okay. Okay, okay. We'll take some time starting now.
I see for about thousand fifty eight times. Okay. Um, so for the speech, it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna start with the A2 framing stuff, and then I'll go into the image, and then all the data stuff. We'll take 10 more seconds to start. Right now. <laughs> okay, let's prep. Cool. Never continue prep. Cool. Alright, that's another okay. way to use some amount of time. Okay. It's, yeah, so it's going to be uh, anti timer stuff and then the image. And then whatever whatever they said. Um, yeah, I'll I'll try the time first. It's okay. Actually, it'll be like an overarching idea at the very top, and <laughs> you can flow it on um, on the top of our case, I guess. Um, actually, you should probably flow it on like everything I say, and then I'll go. I'll come first. Okay, is anybody not ready? Okay, overarching idea first. Everything we have said this round is just our opinion. They are saying it is us saying it's an objective fact that is not true. We are just saying this is what we believe, and we are using debate as, as a way to express what we believe in our beliefs so other people can listen to them and then either one critique them or two agree with them so we can listen to other people's beliefs. They are shutting this down. Point A, point A, or whatever it's called before, the case one evidence. They gave us an image to interpret, and we said it just that you should vote for Westlake. They said a couple of things in response. Most problematically, they said that this does not matter because this is just us trying to go back into the data and then have you to vote for us. But there's a couple of responses. Number one, they are really telling us that our like subjective opinion does not matter at all. As far as I'm sure, they are literally the data that they are talking about themselves. They are the super monster. They are the robot. That is them. But secondly, more importantly, this is once again just our opinion. That is exactly what we believe. And while we're not saying it's objective, fact that you should believe, considering that's the only thing that's actually been given in the round, you should probably believe it. Then. On the second voting issue of the round, this is really, really important. It should honestly be the only thing on your ballot. They said in the middle of their speech, and recordings proved by that camera that I'm pointing out right now, he said, vote for us. That is a direct contradiction to his entire K or whatever this is called. And it's pretty bad that he did it considering it's like the entire point of his argument is to not vote for somebody, but he says to vote for them. That's pretty damning for them at that point because he's violating his entire K. Essentially, one ox is not caring for the data. If anything, he supports the data. He's, he's a sheep in the revolution. He doesn't care at all. But secondly, he, I mean, he just violates it. Like, he gives us access to it. Then... Let's, okay, now I'm gonna go to the framing stuff. The top level, I guess number one, framing is bad because it only like, leads to one frame of thinking and you have to essentially only go by that one way of thinking, which is really bad because number one, it contradicts everything that they say is really the one way and not your subjective thought. But number two, it closes the way for any fairness to happen at all because you can't even express what you believe and all you have to go through one way of thinking. You can't, number one, learn to think, but two, you can't debate fairly because the other side will always win, which destroys debate as a whole because if people are not debating in a fair environment, number one, they can't learn, and number two, they will just quit debate so you don't have debate in the first place, so always wins. Secondly, let's go to the third sort of reason actually about marginalization people. Overall, you cannot talk about any like 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 ideas of like about marginalized people because anything would just like 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 you can say, oh which one is worse basically oppression the Olympics. I would say that you should look at things through a util framework because you are not like comparing like which form of sufferings are worse and instead you should be like, hey, which one actually affects more people and is harming more people because I'm not gonna stand here like argue which type of oppression is worse. That's just not something I'm going to do or like morally justified. Instead, a util is way better than framework because it just allows me to say which one overall affects more people. Let's go to my case. They give a couple responses, and most of them have to do with data. They try to tell you that data is really, really, really bad. Although I would say that they represent data more than anyone else in the room for the reasons I presented before. They said that the role of judge is to undata the data, but they themselves say a couple of things that dispute this. Number one, everything I said before. Number two, their own K is basically that the last word is to vote for the next permit. That is literally that. The, it has the word vote in the sentence. You can look at it. It's inside of the doc. If, you're, if they're asking you to vote for somebody, that's a pretty clear violation of their own K. Furthermore, they say that the role of the judge is to undata the data. They have not sufficiently described what it means to undata the data. Furthermore, it's not in the dictionary a single time. I haven't looked yet, but I'm definitely going to, probably right now, and I guarantee you that data is not going to be in there. It actually, okay, it'll take you all the way to the D section, but I honestly, look it up yourselves. Just think about it logically. That is not even in the dictionary. How am I going to vote for a word that doesn't even exist? Give me a moment. Take a moment of silence. Uh, for sign posting, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go back.
respect to the image, actually. The image that they posted, they said that we could interpret it. I interpreted it as, or we both interpreted it at the same time. You should vote for Wesley. You should click that neg affirmative, the, our ballot. You should click our ballot because we are obviously winning for a multitude of reasons that I don't have time to get into anymore. But it's pretty clear. Thank you very much. That was my speech. All right. Y'all want to be cross? Absolutely. Okay. All right, you get a first question, dude. Okay. So you make the argument that framing is bad. Yeah. And you say then that we should do a useful framework. Absolutely. Actually, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with your question. Can I have a question? Would you like to, Would you like to expand upon what no, you No, I disagree said? with your question. Expand on the that. I disagree with it. Okay, that's fair. I disagree with the question. No, nothing in the question. Do not misinterpret my words. I disagree with the that's question. That's fair. You can have a question. That's awesome. Fair. Let's talk about your question. Right. Why did you ask me that? I asked you that to get to know your subjective thoughts better. Wait, wait. It's pretty clear you don't care about my subjective thoughts. Well, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty objective way of right. thinking that's about it. Wait, 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 wait. That's how I interpret what you, you interpret. You can ask no, that is what I interpret what you interpret on my interpretation of you interpreting me. That means that you do not care about my interpretation because if that was true, the line C it continues. It's like math; it keeps going. I just don't think data knows math. Um, you are obviously data, and you're a high school student. I'm imagining you at least know like some basic maybe algebra. I'm not that. I mean, we are trying to understand. Listen, data. you might I'm not, not be data, but you're definitely a damn good impersonator. Seriously, not, you don't I, care about I, what I, our I'm subjective data. thought is. You're reading a framework showing up everything that we think. You say our opinion is wrong. I don't think opinions are wrong. I think they're up for discussion to have creative and good discussions. You're trying to say, shut me down. All right, is that a good or bad? Listen, once again, I disagree with your question. Okay. Can I have a question? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Awesome. Let's talk about that. Yeah. What does that mean to you? That means everything. How so? Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean like literally like like that chair is that or do you mean like in like a sentimental source like I it means everything? Do that. Wait, once again, what do you mean like in a, like a sentimental way or like like really like no, mean it? Data is everything. Everything. Oh, like like like, like yeah. literally everything. Wait, does it mean that data is also subjective thought because subjective thought is a thing that exists? Bro, data is everything and nothing. Wait, so if that is nothing, then how is it everything? See, it, it, and if we took what See, you're saying, but, 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 why is that a question that you ask? I don't have to defend my question. You have to defend yours. But you're the next one. That's your ability to prove. This is a, a, a new question, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. New whoa. question. Who said just, you could have a new question? So just new I have not asked mine yet. That's not so, how the so, rules of the way work. Why exactly do you wonder as to why it can't be everything but also be nothing? I think you know what I'm going to say. But, but, but why? I disagree with the question. I'm not answering that. Okay, that's fine. Can I have a question? Yeah. I'm going to take your question. Okay. Back to data. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for that now. Okay. Wait, it's not. We can no, wait, 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 that was not a question. That was a statement. A statement of subjective opinion. That's okay. It's okay? It's just okay? I think it's great. I think subjective opinion is okay as well. You think it's okay? Yeah. Okay, new question. Do you think subjective opinions are good or great? They're okay. Or whatever you decided to do. Cross it over. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the judge uh, asked for the uh, option to answer my question. I don't have to answer. Uh, Alright, you can answer it. I can answer, I can I answer it myself. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, okay. <laughs> let, me, let, let me talk about data for a second. These buddies over here think it's real funny to ask me questions. So the order of my speech. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm fairly sure the NSDA rules is not so you can start your speech while I'm answering your cross question. The order of my speech is okay. going to be undying the data yes. in the simplistic, simplest way possible. Where should I close? Anywhere you please. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Like, like convenient for you. All right. Is right. anybody not ready? We're ready. The responsibility of the judge is to undoubtedly the data. The current debate space is not compatible with subjective truths. Even if a team reads a true meaningful argument, such as arguments about human trafficking or genocide, the opposing team must reject it for the sake of winning the round. This win loss structure of debate prevents us from accepting and discussing important truths. Our solvency is to reject the win loss structure of debate and transform this space into an open platform of subjective and free flowing discourse. This will encourage debaters to embrace subjectivity and self discovery or the ability to form our own genuine ideas and conclusions. That is data. That is the truth. Unfeathered, uneducation, we tired about. Let's talk about their arguments. First, they say that in the status quo, 
framing is bad. And then they say the util framing should be calculated. Again, they're contradicting themselves. And it's another link into data because of the fact that they're saying, objectively speaking, framing is bad. Moreover, they make an argument at the top saying that right now we should vote for them and that they're not doing it if you're embracing subjective opinion. Yet every single one of their pieces are giving so many scholarly articles that they can see is a form of data and is a form of bad objective thinking because they're citing all these scholars that are doing definite answers. Why is it that the New York Times concludes drug use is up one day and the next, the same article concludes it's down another day? That is what we prove the data. Moreover, they say that the case to vote for the naked affirmative. Right, that is voting for the naked in the affirmative. That is undoubting the data. This makes no response. They say, and we don't undoubt the data. And it does. It exists. You just think it's subjective in the first place. They make this whole entire argument about how my partner says we should vote for us. But yes, we agree. Everything is subjective, which is why there are four responses to this argument. Number one, he spoke in a different language. You only interpret it as him saying vote for us when he really didn't say that. Number two, we also say that in order to undoubt the data, you have to first violate the data to reach a state of data in the first place. They are only perpetuating the status quo. They are their only team. What? <laughs> yeah, we're the clear. only team that is undoubting the data now and are trying to reach that state in the first place. That is our argument. Let's move on. Then they say this argument about the image, and the image is a way to vote for Wesley. Another walking link as to why you shouldn't vote for anything, but you should vote for data, which is subjective thinking. Every single one of their links are even more links as to why you should reject the status quo, and are even more links as to why you should embrace data. They are literally a walking link into data. There is no way you can't vote for there is no way you cannot vote for that. <clears throat> We're going to uh keep it for the non advancement rule. It's for the data. It's for you. Alright, we're gonna take some tests. We're gonna take some breath tests right now. Is that another link I Second, interprets that they would last. That's just what you hear last, and 
and that's just who you vote for, right? Also, they violate their own shells. They say we do too, but like that's the point of them reading the shell. They probably shouldn't violate their own shells. That's probably maybe worse because they brought up the shell in the first place. They said to vote for them. They said when we said to vote for us, that violated their shell. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and extend the response to framework. We say that any framework at all forces you to think in a certain way, but we embrace through utilitarianism, which is our subjective opinion about how you should evaluate the round, not necessarily as a framework, but just meaning potentially any framework that we use, um, that we can think in any way. With util, you could potentially link into utilitarianism through like any other framework, but it's basically impossible to link into this data framework or data framework because everything is data. So their framework is impossible to not link into because everything is data. Whoever speaks second just always wins because we're the last person they hear. And at the end of the day, data is just inevitable. There's no way you can vote for the team that rejects data because nobody is rejecting data. I think nobody is rejecting data. So I'm just going to go ahead and extend a contention that I think is true and ask that you vote for it because I believe it is true. Not because I know that it is true, but because I think it is true and I'd appreciate if you listen. Both of us are data. No one is winning that they're not data. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's extend contention freedom international. Multilateral treaties are currently intact but fragile. The future of UN Vertical Treaties is uncertain because of decisions by Uruguay, eight US states and Canada to legalize cannabis. That said, the regime maintains a remarkable compliance goal. Unfortunately, if the US ended prohibition, ignoring drug conventions could seriously damage our interests standing around the world. Agreements must be kept, countries must be comply with some provisions and ignore others without losing moral authority. Unfortunately, if the United States loses moral authority, Shredding of e-law fines, but that would mean that the United States can no longer stop other countries from going to war with each other through encouraging them through UN multilateral treaties. That means the world falls into war and 75 million people die. We think 75 million people dying is bad, objectively, and think you should approach there. Neither team is rejecting data. Both of us are data, but we give you a case that we think is right, and we ask that you vote for it because it's what we want. And that's it. All right, we have a good for you, Of course. Thank you. Let's stand or sit. You can sit. Oh, what do you want to do? He said I could sleep. Okay, uh, I think y'all chose the first question. Or I think y'all can get the first question. Okay, lovely. Graciously. So let's talk about what you may have said in the last speech. Talk out. So you may have made an argument that the judges have to vote for whatever they hear last. Maybe. I said that they could. So what if they don't? Then they don't. Great. But again, it was my subjective opinion that Great. after hearing you were okay, it is likely that the second speaking team may- Whose subjective have, opinion matters more, mine or yours? I don't know if mine matters more than yours, I'm just telling Great. you that mine is, and I'm asserting that it's more important than yours. Wait, um, but anyways, you're telling me that yours is? He's thinking, no, no, he's thinking about the fact that, what did he just say? What? Yeah. He's, he's not telling you. If anything, you're probably reading his mind or something. Never, he's just thinking. Right. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Anyways. And if anything, if you're, if you're reading somebody's mind, the only person with the power to do that is probably Bobby. I prefer words for Westlake LR. Oh, thanks. Which, uh, 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 LR. Oh, wait, no, that's R. That's R. Oh, oh, I got a big one? Pop? Oh, that's cool. I got popped dirt. I think that the top speaker of Churchill should win this one. <laughs> and then my subjective opinion and the objective opinion, that doesn't mean. What'd you get? I get. That's pretty damn good. Third place. I think whoever has a combined higher speaker order should win. That may or may not have been a lot of objective thinking we said. Well, a lot of what thinking? Wait, 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 wait. You are, subje you are subjectively thinking that I am objectively thinking, but I disagree because I'm subjectively thinking that that's not true. Yeah. Alright, you have a question, John. Do you have a question? I don't have any questions. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, okay, I have a question. Do you think holding a gavel makes someone look more authoritative? We might, we might not. Okay. Do you have a question? No. Alright. Uh, how many words uh, how many words do you think were in reconstructed? Well we're not sure uh, what words are. We might be but we're not. Okay. But we might be. I have a question. Wait, you know what? What? Do you think that this gavel is relatively large? Maybe. Possibly. Wait, wait, but is large determined by... Well, like, like, what determined... Okay, what even is a win? I mean, you, in, the, in the way you're saying it's determined by wins and losses, like, what even is a win at this point? Because a win could be losing a round, but 
winning morally and believing that you won internally because you learned stuff, but a win could also be getting that W on the battle, or, or uh, the, well, I don't know, I don't know how battles work, but the one that says I win. All right, that's cross. Whoa, 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 this is about 20 seconds left. In my opinion, I'm gonna start talking about my gavel. I have never actually gotten top speaker at Churchill before. I've only been here one time, which is now. Uh, okay, that's actually cross. No, there's seven seconds. I don't think you'll have any throw blows. That's fine, by the way. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's nice. yeah, yeah. I think I'll take him Justin? I think. We might agree. Maybe. Huh? Just keep it interesting. There are so many walking links that come from the opponent side. First off, when we ask them to interpret the image, they say that they interpret it as voting for Westlake. Again, we have said again and again we should reject the win-loss format of debate. It only causes teams to try and win arguments objectively through pseudo-objective lenses instead of embracing individual thought. Rather than saying what they believe, they simply say what they think and win them the round, which is exactly why you should reject this. Second, they have cited multiple scholars. Extending their case in their last speech literally came from cut cards. They are, again, biting the link on what we say is data, which is, again, reading scholars, embracing other people's thoughts, rather than saying what they themselves believe. That's why literally half their speech time last time was just reading off the cut cards, saying what, they, what other experts were saying on foreign policy. Third, they themselves told you multiple times that framework was bad. Again, uh, again, giving another objective way of looking through the ground. Again, saying, uh, again, biting into the data argument, which is that you should object, reject objective lenses, embrace subjective thought. Which again, they also read uh, like more pieces of evidence saying as to why like preferring certain lenses of framework was bad as well. Then fourth, we are not commanding you to do anything. Instead, we are saying that you should not that you should not embrace the objective thinking that they are giving you. Instead, what we say is you should reject the you should reject the data, and the role of the uh, the role of the judges is to undata the data. This can be done by simply rejecting any objective thinking. It is up to the judge to believe what they think was more subjective and what they think was more objective, and thus conclude around that way. I think we have more prep. The, the role of the ballot is to undoubt the data. Society is uh, allowing uh, like, thing which is the information over time. Perpetuates no, because every argument is an effect that throws one's own supposed truth onto another's mindset, demanding other votes' viewpoints. This is objective that destroys our, things, our ability to critically inform personal ideas. The solvency is a rejected mechanism and undoubted the data. Okay. We're at 134 and I'll start talking. I disagree. I mean, that's my opinion. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you sure I was at 134? Yes. Wait, wait. You're 100% sure of it. All right, awesome. Okay. We will take prep time. Six, six and a half, maybe seven voters in this round. I'll go down that one by one in order of alphabetical something. Is there anybody that's not ready? The flow is going to be um, uh, it's going to be on the data. All right. Let's talk about data. I have a couple opinions about this. My opponents don't have opinions. They have facts according to that. In their final focus, they stood up and said, we think like this and that's bad. They are assuming that because they think that's a fact. They did not for a single time say, I think they think like that. They said, I know I think like that. That's really bad, that violates their own shell. Secondly, they have not addressed the most important argument in the round, which is what he said, is what I said, was I'm about to say once again, we are all data. 
They said it themselves. We said it. They haven't disputed it. We are all data. At the end of the day, if we are all data, there's no way to undata the data unless you do what we think. What have they said that they think? They have thought nothing. They have thought that we are probably not very good at debate. They've thought that we are the data. They think that we should lose this round. That's ridiculous. What do we think? We give you actual reasons why you should vote for us because of that's what we think. We think that utilitarianism is more important because, for example, frameworks themselves are pretty bad because they exclude the other half of the argumentation, which, number one, isn't very fair because you really can't win unless you're them. But number two, it destroys education because you can't even talk about those things. On top of everything, let's talk about util itself. They spend our C2, or international law happens, the treaties go unpacked, causes war. At least we have a chance of, you know, offense, so you should write that one down if you want to vote for us, which you don't have to, but you could. Secondly, oh, 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 this is big. My opponents, I think, did not extend their ult a single time after the first time they read the contention, which is pretty bad for them, considering that they don't have an ult, they can't really win the round. And what was their ult? I can barely even remember. It sounds like, ah! It was horrible. It is in a single time. How do they even win the round? Vote off of utilitarianism, I think. I think they didn't extend that. I think a lot of things. So does he. We all think a lot of things. You're probably thinking right now, please end the timer. End the round. I don't want to watch this anymore. You know what they're thinking? They're not thinking anything. True. They're not thinking anything at all. They're thinking, wow, this guy is really great. No, they're not thinking that. They're, they're saying to themselves, they believe that we are bad. They believe that they should win. So at the end of the day, judges, they also did not respond to the idea that you should vote with whoever our first speaker at Churchill. That was undisputed. Uh, the picture goes in our favor. The data goes in our favor because we're all data. But at the end of the day, we have more opinions than they do. And on top of who has the best opinions, well, that's subjective. But at least we have some. They have none. I rest my case. Okay. Good round, you guys. Well, round, round, yeah. Uh, I rest my case. Yeah, I rest my case. I always wanted to say I rest my case.